God. I've never really just sat down and tried to pray before. I mean, I've I mean, I've prayed, but I've never like really, I don't know, I guess just try to thank you. And I've been reading in the Bible that says I need to come in a closet and pray. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just here and I just want to thank you and I appreciate everything you've been doing for me and, and I, I love you and I just, ask you to help me to do better and please forgive me for all my sins and I just thank you again in Jesus holy name Amen God, I've been coming in here every day for the last month, praying to you, asking you to help me, and you haven't done anything. I can't see any help, and I've, I've poured my heart out to you, and I have not seen anything. You said in your word that your sheep hear your voice. I thought I was one of your sheep. I haven't heard your voice one time. Not even once. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I don't even want to pray. It's pointless to me. That's what it feels like. So I'm not. I'm just coming in here to tell you that this is the last time I'm going to pray. I'm sorry. I don't know what else to say. God, I ask you to please forgive me. I know I haven't prayed in two or three months now, but I need you. I can tell there's there's been a change in me, and, and I haven't liked it. I, I feel weak. I, I just don't feel the same as what I do when I'm praying to you, so I ask you to please help me. Help me see something. Help me feel something. I, I'm going to do everything I can to try harder, Father. I ask you to please forgive me. I'll do anything. I, just, I know I messed up. I know I shouldn't have did that. I know I fell back into sin. But I, I'm sorry. I repent. I will try harder, Father. I will. And I know if you're helping me, I'll do better. And I won't ever do that again. I won't ever stop praying to you because I know I need you. Because I do know you've been helping me. And I don't know what was wrong with me. I guess... I guess the devil was just messing with me. But Father, I beg you. I'll do anything. Just please stay in my life. I know I need you, and I'll do anything for you, and I love you with all my heart, in Jesus' name. thinking about you know back whenever I first started praying you know I, I really didn't know what to say I really didn't know what to pray but I, th 
thank you for your friendship. I thank you for being faithful even when I wasn't faithful through the ups and downs. You've been there right there with me this whole time. And I thank you for showing me the truth. I thank you for speaking to me. I thank you for showing me that I needed to press in, that I needed to be diligent. I thank you that you showed me that. Because without that help, I probably would have stayed in my sin. But I just thank you for, for everything you've done for me. I thank you for everything. I thank you for your love, your forgiveness, your mercy, and your kindness, and your grace. And I just thank you that you've been here with me this whole time. And I just pray that you continue to stay with me like I know you will. And please help me to do something for you today. I just love you with all my heart. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Hey, how's it going? I made this quick little devotional video to show that there's many stages in someone's prayer life. There's the beginning unsure stage where you just really don't know what you're doing. You don't know what to say. It's kind of a new concept to you. you it's kind of a, a almost a weird thing because you, you're not talking directly to somebody else who's able to respond like a normal conversation. So you just kind of feel unsure about it, you know. And then there's the stage of, well, I'm, I'm not... I'm not seeing anything from this. I'm not seeing a uh, fruit from what I'm doing, you know. So you become angry and frustrated, and you almost get. And a lot of times, you do get mad at God, and you think it's Him. You think He's doing something against you. You take it personally, and you really you give up too soon. Now, you know, of course, everybody doesn't go through all these stages. You know, some people might just skip right to perfection. <laughs> but, uh, you know, at least with my life, you know, I've noticed several progressive stages, you know, in, in variation. But, uh, anyway, then it moves you to um, the repentance stage. You know, you're sorry about, you know, your sin. You're sorry about maybe even not even praying. You're sorry about everything, and, and it moves you to a change. And hopefully, after this takes place, hopefully you continue on a steady course of not ever having to go back to, well, I'm not going to pray anymore. Um, I know there was a time in my life where there was about a month or so, or two months, I can't remember how long it was, where I just, you know, well, I'm just not going to pray. And I, and I do know and I can attest that it was one of the worst times of my life, if not the worst. I felt a complete disconnect to God. I, I felt like He wasn't even there. And I felt like I was getting closer and closer to the devil. And I had no relief. At least when I would pray in my sin, I would feel some kind of relief. But... I think it needed to come because at that time I realized that I needed God more than I than more than I was really, really knew, and I got closer to Him after that, and from then on it was like a steady progression, you know, trying to do righteously. Yeah, I have still messed up in there, but. Um, it's gotten me to this point, and that comes to the final stage of a true connection. Uh, you're not worried about what you say or you know how you say it, because you know he's not worried about that. It's more of about a friendship. It is more of a connection, and a, you just talk to him, and and you're happy about it. You you look forward to it. And, and you realize that you don't have to just do it in one place. You can do it anywhere. You can do it outside. It doesn't necessarily have to be a closet. 
the, the only reason why I did this is because scripture does say go into the closet and uh, the main point of that is is just so other people aren't around you know so you can just be you and him but you can do that anywhere so uh, I suggest you know if you don't have a true relationship with God that you seek after one you seek after him and you have a real prayer life you know get connected to him and if he doesn't speak to you right away, keep pressing in. Be diligent. Keep seeking him because he will speak to you. He's spoken to me a number of times, but does he speak to me every time? No, he doesn't. But I ask for you to, to seek after him today and pray to him as often as you can. And thank you for watching.